In this video, we will solve 29th question from first set of mechanical engineering question paper that was conducted in GATE 2018. The question is, the state of stress at a point for a body in plane stress is shown in the figure below. If the minimum principal stress is 10 kPa, then the normal stress sigma y in kPa is option a 9.45 option b 18.88 option c 37.78 option d 75.50 you can also refer to the NPTEL course mechanical engineering strength of materials coordinated by iit Roorkee. before moving to the video solution we need to know some useful data the principal stress is sigma 1 and sigma 2 equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus or minus under root sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus sigma square x y. Here for sigma 1 it is plus and sigma 2 it is minus. In our case it is given that the, the minimum principal stress is 10 that is sigma 2 equal to 10 kilopascal. We don't know sigma 1. The next point is maximum shear stress equal to maximum of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2, sigma 1 by 2, sigma 2 by 2. The maximum shear stress will be maximum of these three. Okay. Now let us move to the video solution. Okay. In our question, it's given the plane stress, this the stress at a point for a plane for a body in plane stress is given as this is sigma x equal to 100 kilopascal and this is sigma y which we need to find out and the shear stress tau yx and tau xy equal to 50 kilopascal. Okay, here it, and it is also given that the minimum principal stress sigma 2 equal to 10 kilopascal. From here itself, we can neglect the first option that is option A 9.45, which will not be the answer because the minimum principal stress is 10 kilopascal. So, you will not get stress at this point which is below less than 10. So, option A is 9.45. So, first itself you can neglect this option. Okay. Next, moving to our solution. Uh, the It's given that the low, uh, the minimum principal stress is 10 kilopascal. And for minimum principal stress, the equation is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus under root sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square. Please note that if it is plus, this will be maximum principal stress. We are given sigma 2 is 10, which is the minimum. So, it will be minus here. Now, we will substitute the values. Okay. So, so 10 equal to, what is sigma x? Sigma x is 100 and sigma y, we don't know. We have to find divided by 2 minus under root sigma x is 100. 100 minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 50 square. Okay. Next, we can write this as 100 by 2 is 50. So, we will take this to this side. Okay. So, 50 minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 50 square under root equal to 50 plus sigma y by 2 minus 10 which is equal to 40 plus sigma y by 2. Next we will square on both sides. So this will become 50 minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 50 square 
equal to 40 plus sigma y by 2 whole square okay so 40 square is 1600 plus sigma y by 2 square is sigma y square sigma y square by 4 plus 40 into 2 is 20 20 into 2 40 so 40 sigma y okay and uh, this square is nothing but 50 square is 2500 plus sigma y square by 4 minus 50 sigma y plus 2500 equal to 1600 plus sigma y square by 4 plus 40 sigma y we can cancel this two and 2500 plus 2500 is 50,000 uh, 5000 5000 minus 1600 that is 3400 so 3400 minus 50 sigma y have this thing will go to this side that becomes 50 plus 40 90 90 sigma y hence sigma y equal to 3400 divided by 90 okay so 3400 divided by 90 0, 0 cancel hence sigma y equal to 37.78 kilopascal okay therefore for this question the answer the uh, sigma y is nothing but 37.78 moving back to the slides the, for, the, for this question the state of stress at a point for a body in a plane stress is shown in the figure below if the minimum principal stress is 10 kilopascal then the normal stress sigma y is 37.78 as said in the beginning, this cannot be the answer because this is less than 10. For more reference and clarification, you can refer to the NPTEL course, Mechanical Engineering Strength of Materials, coordinated by IIT Rootkey. Thank you.